So before the John Cena versus Kane thing, they had a little segment backstage where Zack Ryder was in a wheelchair and John Laurinaitis set him up in a booth, uh, obviously constructed, wasn't a real room, uh, where he can watch the pay-per-view on his own. Um, why couldn't he just watch it backstage? I don't know, but that's WWE. You know that they wanted to have that come into play right off the bat. Uh, to quote uh, Teddy Long from this week's episode of SmackDown, there's nothing worse than predictable TV. <laughs> oh, God. So right when you saw the giant fake door... Or well, no, it was a real door. I'll give them that. It was a real door. It was just a, it was a real door in the sense that they have real tables uh, that aren't as thick as you would uh, expect, or uh, that those really thin trash cans are real trash cans because they're cans you can throw trash in. So the door was clearly meant to get kicked in, and we'll touch upon that in a second. But uh, right off the bat from that, it was like, okay, well, when are they going to have this come into play? And uh, I naturally assumed that what they were going to do is have John Cena, when we were talking about this before, John Cena lose the match by disqualification when he kind of goes nuts on Kane. And then I thought that they would kind of fight to the back. And WWE, once again, they didn't want to pull that trigger and have John Cena lose, even if it was by disqualification. So they had to make it a double count out, and then that way it's a draw. And John Cena just doesn't lose again because he's John Cena. And then they brawled to the back and... Uh, the brawl was crap, I thought. Uh, they were there, there was a part in it where Kane clearly hits the floor, and that was supposed to be, like, the big move. It was just awful. Um, and then, of course, Kane comes out, breaks the door down, brings uh, Zack Ryder from the wheelchair to the front uh, area around the stage, pushes him to the ring, throws him out of that, Gives him a tombstone while Eve is crying because now Eve loves him and all this kind of stuff. And Cena comes running out the savior and gets a choke slam, and then Kane leaves. It was kind of stupid to me. I didn't like it at all. Uh, I despised it, only the fact because my boy got beat up. <laughs> and if you, if you hear on the DVD or if you heard on the pay per view, the, a 23 year old man yelling, You son of a bitch, you son of a bitch, stop it. <laughs> if it was me at the top of my lungs, and people in the audience were looking at me, like, What the hell's wrong with this guy? They don't understand the passion I have for the Rider Revolution. The only thing I did here was I heard that you got the sexual chocolates uh, start. Oh, yeah. I was yelling at just, like, even before he came out. I was just screaming it. And people were looking at me just, like, kind of laughing and giggling. And then eventually it caught on because I wouldn't shut up. It was kind of like the Super Dragon thing. <laughs> so. You should just start a Super Dragon one the next time. <laughs> but uh, overall, I hated the match, so. Yeah. The match was very, very average. It felt kind of blah pretty much because for this type of a feud you'd expect them to have you know there's a lot of hatred so they're just going to go into like rest holds and stuff like that the whole time you know just wrestle a standard match after you've had like weeks of him beating up you know people that seen his storyline close to and you know injuring Zack Ryder a few times so we're just going to have a regular standard match the finish sucked having a book accounted that was a big cop out the brawl sucked you know, the really weak chair shots that knocked out Cena sucked. Breaking down the door sucked. Carting out Zack Ryder to Tombstone him sucked. And then scaring even choke slamming Cena sucked. Basically, the whole <laughs> thing sucked. <laughs> it's an interesting note, though, that uh, before the pay-per-view started, the entire crowd was against Cena, chanting Cena sucks. Like, normally there's, like, a... You at least hear some little kids still trying to get the Cena, like, let's go Cena chance going. There was absolutely none at the beginning. It, it was just deafening, the Cena sucks chance. And every time he came on, and I mean, it was like promotional stuff and like caring for children stuff, and people were booing him in St. Louis. I can't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> who the hell cares for children? Screw Cena. He sucks. <laughs> Damn you for being a nice guy. You know who doesn't care for children? The Ultimate Warrior. Why? Because he <laughs> sucks. Oh, uh, God. We're going to piss off so many people on that video. <laughs> cheap hits. <laughs> yeah, cheap anti pops. Uh, all the cheap heat. The uh, smack talk is cheap heat. There you go. Good pun. Talk is cheap. Uh, so now let's go into Drew McIntyre versus Brutus Clay. 